It is 9 a.m. on Saturday, July 24th, and we are about to go hiking on Mount Rainier. This is something that is about uh, two hours outside of Seattle, and in case you want to get over the gay bar and get over the getting out and getting down the night before, get over to Mount Rainier and get hiking. Get some uh, good, fresh oxygen. It's 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I am going hiking on Mount Rainier with Evergreen Escapes. It is a great way to get up and get some oxygen, you know? So I went to bed early, I did not stay out late, and now I'm gonna go enjoy one of the finest gems in the Pacific Northwest. Mount Rainier, the tallest mountain in the Cascades. It's 9 a.m. in the morning. Saturday morning, I got out of bed because I'm going hiking with Evergreen Escapes. We're going over to Mount Rainier the tallest mountain in the Cascades range. It is over 14,000 feet and I'm looking forward to getting a little exercise and getting some of that fresh oxygen and getting out of the city and enjoying one of the finest gems in the Pacific Northwest. Because of the time change, uh, you know, it won't be a problem for me. Uh, <laughs> now, now I see that they were right. <laughs> uh, we're in the forest now. That is a seriously huge mountain. Pseudosugum nunziesii is, is the Latin name for it. And uh, you can tell a dug for a cone. Um, those cracks provide habitat for birds, insects, spiders, uh, bats. Well, that's a bat signal. So, uh, so, 
said, these huge, these huge mature species are really important for, for habitat, unlike the ones that you see that are even like a couple hundred years younger, um, of which they're in feels really good to get out of Seattle and get into the forest. Right now we're at a lower elevation. We are on our way up to Paradise, which is way higher, but right now here in the lower elevations, you can see old growth Douglas firs, which are you know around 500 years old. And uh, it's great, it's still warm, and I'm <laughs> out of breath. Um, then we haven't even got anywhere steep yet. <laughs> it prevents little bugs and such from burrowing in here and actually eating the tree itself and it's really good for keeping your clothes nice and fresh and smelling good as well so western red cedar thuya placata is this is the species name and uh once, once again it's the most important species arguably for native people here they call it mother cedar in a lot of native tongues so this is a good example of one that's that's pretty probably a dark fur that has fallen down It's not that kind of trip. Over the the canopy floor, and all over the canopy floor are these cute little pine cones. Look how adorable, man. Mm -mm -mm. look way up there and off to the right a little bit, there's actually a waterfall pouring down off of a ledge. The uh, Cascade Mountain Range is actually named after waterfalls because of the glacial runoff. There are so many cascades in the mountain range. Or is it because of all the rocks that might fall on your head?
grizzly bears are farther north, although some people refer to grizzly bears as brown bears too. Um, those are farther north. What else do we have? When I look at this mountain and I think about how old it is, it's really staggering. Thousands of years old and it is just right there, still there. Magma coming from the crust of the earth up and up and up. And one day, it's just gonna explode. <sighs> No matter what happened to you today, no matter what you did today in this movie, this movie of ours that we made all around the world, no matter what you did, we all did it together. And you know what? There are things around us, things such as this mountain here that has been around for thousands and thousands of years, and things that will be here for thousands and thousands of years after we are long gone. This documentary will also be here after we are long gone, which is kind of exciting. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else came up with because this is rad. And just remember that we're all in this together, you, me, everybody else. So we need to remember that our responsibility does not stop with our own lives, our responsibility continues on through everybody's lives for generations and generations to come. That mountain right there, that is the sign that we may not be here for too much longer, but let's try. One of the most useful features here at the Mount Rainier Visitor Center is the Are You at Risk map. This tells you if you're going to be, well, in danger of being killed if the volcano should erupt. Luckily, as you can see here, Tacoma, Tacoma just barely escapes destruction, unfortunately, for most Seattleites. However, uh, Puyallup, Puyallup um, does not. But for those of us in Seattle, we are safe. So if you're coming to visit Seattle, it's very safe, don't worry, you can come visit Mount Rainier and then if uh, it explodes, just go back to Seattle and you'll be, you'll be okay. No lahar, no lava, you're all good. Well, it depends on where the snow level is. Stop early or something. Well, we're going to kind of go up as high as we can get. Probably. It's crazy when you're hiking up right now. It's late July, but there are still patches of snow all over the place. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I'm about to take my shirt off, but yet I can still have a snowball fight. <laughs> Woohoo, it's on! It's just too hot. It's time for Nikki Times. Woo! Surrounded by snow. It is July 24th, and I am surrounded by snow. That, my friends, is pretty darn cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh man, that's what I'm talking about. I might as well just sit down on the way down and just... Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier.
pretty incredible. Massive mountain. 12,000 some feet high, 12,200, something like that. Oh, the ice fields up there, those yeah. are all glaciers. Like I said, there's 50 named glaciers alone on this mountain. Lots and lots of water on top. Mount Rainier is named after, I think, some admiral in the British Jean, Navy. Jean Rainier, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, so the rest of us, if you want. I've always wanted to do this. Here goes nothing. Oh god! Ah! Oh my god, it's cold! Oh my god, it's cold! I can't even move my leg. Going down. No, I don't think we have mildew in Wisconsin. Yeah. So which? I think this is embarrassing. Yeah. Which state are we close to? Wisconsin or Michigan? Oh, Michigan. Okay. Okay. Like, up this way. Generally, cold. Yeah. It's got I'm completely enamored with Mount Rainier. The way the glaciers flow, the way the rivers are subtly going underneath it, the way you can walk on the snow with your shirt off, the way the just the staggering beauty and size and mammothness of the mountain kind of humbles you and inspires you and makes you feel like, you know what? Life is good. Life is good. Things are possible. We can fix things. We can be in charge of the world. We can be shepherds of everything that is good. And you know what? We can happy. This mountain just inspires me to realize that happiness is definitely in the eye of the beholder and that when you have snowball fights going on, you have families, you have this beautiful, just just ugh, strong, enabled mountain and it... Mm. Being in the presence of Mount Rainier is something that I see in my everyday life in Seattle. You can see it some days, you see it towering over the city and even up close it towers even more. It's even bigger, even stronger and inspires me even more to realize that we have got to keep things right in this world. We have got to preserve our resources. We have got to make sure that this kind of beauty, these animals, this place, these glaciers, these trees, these lovely wildflowers, these people, our entire existence can be preserved and that we don't become a cyst on the planet. And you know what? Being here and seeing all this, it does inspire me and it makes me think that anything is possible. And you know, in this day, July 24th, life in a day, I want to be inspired by everyone else's stories and I am so excited that this is all happening and that we are able to come together and do something that is different, unique, strong, and ultimately inspiring. So, thanks Mount Rainier. Can I show you that picture of Bosley that I can't start